Thanks for staying with us. 541 now here on a Monday morning, a Labor Day out there. And for those folks uh, laboring, and it will be a tough time in terms of some wet roadways out there, some flooding in some parts of the valley, and even a little bit of fog. So do take your time as you head on out and abound for those folks staying at home. Well, you can just enjoy the view outside. Right now, 63 degrees with some drizzle, some mist, and a little bit of fog here in the Fargo-Moorhead area. Winds out of the north and northwest at 13 miles per hour elsewhere across the region. A mix of some 50s and some 60s out there. A cool front right about there continues to slowly slide off towards the south and southeast. And not a whole lot going on along that front, but we are seeing the winds shifting around to the north behind that front, still out of the south ahead of it. Those winds will be shifting to the north across the region as we head through the day today. Still dealing with a little bit of fog out there and could see some patchy, dense fog as we head through the next few hours. Do keep that in mind as you head on out in the bound. You'll encounter some of that fog. Slow down and give yourself a few extra minutes to reach your destination. Some brighter white clouds continue to lift off towards the northeast, but still some lower clouds off towards the west. And again, a little bit of that fog, some drizzle and some mist is still falling. And some showers making their way through Devil's Lake over towards the Grand Forks area. Crookston over towards Bemidji, down towards oh, Fergus Falls, the uh, Wadena area. Still seeing some rain showers and parts of the area did see way too much rain. There it is. The accumulated rainfall from late last night through early this morning. And a lot of rain making its way from northwestern parts of Minnesota through northeastern North Dakota down towards the Stutzman County area, even down towards uh, Dickey and Lamore counties. And a lot of rain in those areas and parts of these regions still under flood advisories through 7 o'clock. Now, most of the rain has ended, but still seeing some runoff that's causing some problems. If you encounter water over a roadway, turn around and find yourself an alternate route. Northern Plains, a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity. That's what moved through our area. That continues to slide off towards the east, off towards the west. Some rain and some Higher elevation snow is winter weather advisors for the higher elevations of western Montana for two to five inches of snow. Most of the southern and western parts of the U.S. quiet. In fact, most of the eastern U.S. quiet. It's because it's also spilling the effects of post-tropical cyclone Hermine with some 70 mile per hour winds along the coast, though. About 40 mile per hour winds, tropical storm warnings for parts of New England. For us, as we head through the day today, as we head into this afternoon, into this evening, that chance for a few showers and thunderstorms on our far southeastern counties overnight tonight. We start to quiet on down. Still see a lot of cloud cover out there. Would not be surprised to see some patchy, dense fog late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And then as we head through the day tomorrow, look for some partly cloudy skies and high temperatures in the 60s and 70s. A few of those storms later on today could be on the strong, maybe even severe side in our far southeastern counties. Over the next couple of days, some 70s, and we're going to continue with 70s for the most part over the next seven days. Not a whole lot of rain chances, but we have that chance for some showers and storms in our southeastern counties today and another chance for storms Wednesday and again on Friday. 70s, 50s, 40s overnight. Yeah. That's September good sleeping weather. weather. Yeah. yeah. We could still get a couple hot days, though. Probably, yeah. It's not over yet. Thank yeah. you, Robert. Mm -hmm. Let's see how people are